Hey everybody, Mr. Maplog here, and this is uh, Multiply Decimals and Whole Numbers. So this is just uh, one strategy. We're going to show you several kind of strategies here shortly. So there's our common core strand, and our question is, how can we use a model uh, to multiply a whole number in a decimal? So the model we're going to use is this decimal model right here. So this is representing hundreds. There's a hundred little squares right here, okay? So for example, if we had these guys filled up, there's 23 squares, so this would be represented as... 23 hundredths right there, okay? If the whole square was filled up, then that would be 1 or 1 hundredths right there. See how this says 1 and then uh, hundredths or 100 hundredths, I guess. So it would be just be 1 right there if the whole square is filled up. Okay, so we're going to use that. So here we're going to use the, uh, the decimal models and some colored pencils. So so in a physical education uh, class, Beverly walks a distance of 17 hundredths, that's what this says, or 0.17 if you want, 17 hundredths of a mile in one minute. So at that rate, how far can she walk in four minutes? Okay, so let's answer some questions here. So we'll complete the statement and describe the problem. We need to find out how many total miles are in, okay, well she's doing uh, 0.17 or 1700 hundredths in, in four minutes, so there's going to be four groups of 0.17 or four groups of 17 hundredths right there, okay? So what expression would this represent? This would represent four times uh, uh, 17 hundredths, okay, or four times 0.17. So we'll use this decimal model. I got it on a bigger page on the next side, you guys. So this decimal model, so what does each small square represent in the decimal model uh, uh, place. Well, it represents the hundredths place right there, okay, because there's a hundred of them right there. So let's shade a group of 17 squares, okay, to represent the distance Beverly walks in one minute. Okay, so there's 17 squares right there. Here's 10 going down here and then plus another 7 right here. Okay, and then so what we're going to do is use different colors to shade an additional group of uh, 17 squares uh, until we have all four groups that represents four minutes. So four groups of 17 squares. So there's one group that we just did. There's another group right there. So there's 17. Okay, so here's three and then plus this 10 right here plus four is 17. Okay, so here's another group. So we're going to go, this is going to be six. So we're going to uh, shade another uh, 11 right there. Okay, so there's three groups of 17. Finally, one more group of 17 would be that right there. Okay, and you can probably guess they're going to ask us to count up all those groups right there. They're not too hard, so you guys, so we just go here's a and so here's a full row of 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then this is down to 8, so 68. So record the total uh, number of squares shaded. There's 68 squares shaded right there, so Beverly can walk. 68 hundredths uh, mile in four minutes right there, okay? Nice and easy. So explain how the model helped us determine uh, that our answer was reasonable. Well, it helps us see what four groups of 17 is uh, in terms of hundredths right there. So, so if she walked this, if we shaded this whole thing, it would be one full mile right here. Okay, but she walked um, uh, uh, 68 hundredths of a mile. All right, let's try another one here, you guys. So a certain tree can grow uh, 45 hundredths meter in one year. So at that rate, how much can the tree grow in three years? Okay, so we're going to need two of these decimal models right here because when we do three 45 hundredths, it's going to overlap. So we're going to have to go into the other one right there. Okay, so there's one group of 45, okay? 10, 20, 30, 40, and then here's 5 right there. All right, so here's another group. We're going to do this three times for three years. There's another group. Okay, and then we got to overlap into the other one. So there's the other one right there. Okay, now remember, this is all shaded. So this represents 1 right here, and then this is 10, 20, 30, 35. So this is 1.35, okay? So the tree will grow 1.35 meter in three years. Okay, that's pretty slick, huh? Okay, so... Uh, the model here below represents uh, which multiplication sentence? Okay, so let's look at all of this here. So it looks like um, all of them have the answer of 24 hundredths. So there's 24 squares being shaded here. So which one is it here? So I see I see three colors here. So here's a color of red. Here's a color of yellow. And then finally, here's a color of blue. And so if we just count how many there are, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like there's three groups of eight. And since this is in hundreds right here, this would be three groups of eight hundreds right there. So that would be choice B right there. Okay. There's three groups of eight hundreds. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Take care.